Engraved on the edge of the Korean Air Flight 801 monument are the words, At 1.42 a.m. on August 6, 1997, in darkness and rain, Korean Air Flight 801 crashed near Nimitz Hill as it was approaching A.B. Wampat International Air Terminal. Of the 231 passengers and 23 crew members, only 25 people survived. On Saturday, August 6, family members joined at the memorial to honor the men, women, and children who perished, the survivors and families of the victims, as well as to thank volunteers, organizations, and government agencies that assisted in the search and recovery effort and provided aid and support to the survivors and families. 25 years ago, we lost our parents, brothers, sisters, and children, our loved ones. We have been living a heartbroken life. At the time we lost our loved ones, their shape and image are still in our memories. The day the Korean air crashed on Guam, the bereaved families won't forget the tragedy. Our hearts were torn and we have been living with the pain for 25 years. Time has passed by and we are now slowly losing our memories. 지난 25년 동안 부모 형제 자식을 보내고 살아온 날들이 The loss of 229 souls was an unprecedented dream. We will live the best we can. Aina Lee, a resident of Guam for 40 years, has come to the site every year on the anniversary with her family. She lost her brother in the crash, and his body, along with many others, were never retrieved for a proper burial. So the memorial service is very important to our family because we did not recover my brother's body. So we had to do 14 months later when NTSB closed down the case. We had a funeral service with the soil. Our family uh, cemetery is at a memorial park. We always go there for anniversary also. But there's no soul, no spirit. So we like to come to the memorial site to do our services. The National Transportation Safety Board's final report in November of 1999 said the crash of a Korean Air jumbo jet that killed 228 people when it slammed into a hillside in Guam was the result of errors by the cockpit crew that might have been prevented if the airline had provided better training for its pilots. The keynote speech was written by former governor of Guam, Carl Gutierrez, who was the governor at the time and was delivered by his daughter, Hannah Gutierrez Arroyo. He shared in depth of how he worked hand-in-hand -hand with the many first responders and volunteers to save as many lives as possible that included an 11-year-old Japanese girl, Rika Matsuda, and a helicopter pilot from New Zealand, Barry Small. I witnessed firsthand how special people in this line of work truly are. Police officers, firefighters, National Guard members, members of the U.S. military, those who stand ready to face these dangers on a daily basis, who stand prepared to risk their own safety in order to save others. To have been among them that morning was something I will never forget. Many stories have been told and will continue to be told about the fateful morning of August 6, 1997. I have heard several survivor interviews on national and international programs, including from Barry Small whom I recently resumed contact with. Historians and aviation experts have studied and reported on this tragedy and its aftermath. What went wrong, what was done right, and what improvements were necessary. But as for me, speaking as the governor during that time, but more intimately, as one of the first to reach the wreckage of Flight 801, I can only say, after 25 years of hindsight, that I was forever changed by that moment. 
Never before nor since have I experienced so devastating a tragedy, and I pray none of us ever will again. And while I am very grateful for the lives we were able to save, I will always be haunted by the thought of how many other lives we could not save. The thought I keep going back to whenever the memories get too dark or difficult is the thought of Rika, the scared but brave 11-year-old girl who touched my heart from the instant she grabbed onto me. Thinking of her now and hoping she is living a beautiful life and knowing that I played a small role in protecting that life, that's what I prefer to think about when I remember that awful day. Each one of us is here today because we have been touched by this tragedy in some way. We are here to honor the 229 souls lost as a result of the crash and to remember the 25 survivors who endured an ordeal most of us cannot even imagine. And as horrible as this tragedy was, I pray that we, but especially the family members, will also remember how a community of people of different races, nationalities, languages, and beliefs came together as a single human family and helped see each other through this difficult time. The engraved words on the edge of Korean Air Flight 801 concludes with, to the survivors and families of the victims, may this monument give courage to carry on with their lives. To everyone, may this serve to underscore our profound hope that such a tragedy will never occur again. For Buenos I'm Polly Suba.